I know, I know, it's Wednesday. Why am I here with New Music Monday? I get it, I'm not that stupid. But you know what? Every once in a while, a record comes along that is so extraordinary, the second I hear it, I know I have to bring it to you guys. And when it came to the new album from Faith Skies called Polar Foils, I had no other choice. I had to review it right away. When I first heard that this band referred to their sound as a fusion between dream pop and punk rock, I certainly had my fair share of hesitancy. Those are two of my absolute favorite styles of music, if not my two favorite styles of music, and try as I might, they just don't fit together right in my brain. They just don't. However, I stand corrected. I'm saying it. I was completely wrong that these two sounds couldn't work together. Because they easily managed to pull off this seemingly impossible task at every turn with some of the most breathtaking, life-affirming music I've ever heard. I really don't know where to start with this album? Is it that sonic swell that you hear on songs like Domestic Tourist? Is it the stunning vocal work on the bridge section to Czechoslovakian Nightmare? Or is it that quiet but invigorating energy on the simply and perfectly titled song Grunt? There's no other way of saying it. These songs should not work together as well as they do, but they do. And that in itself is a testament to the sheer level of talent, creativity, and musical vision in this trio from Idaho. That of course being a state that is rarely applauded for its musical contributions, and it might be because nobody ever really thinks of music in Idaho that they could create so freely and without limits and come up with this sort of music. I'd really love to do what I usually do and pinpoint a handful of older groups that they clearly draw influence from. But the experience here is so truly unique and so wide ranging that this might be the first legitimately original music that I've heard in decades. It's things like the fact that Kayla's guitar can hit just as well on a monstrous riff that will shake your room whilst never losing that fragile, vulnerable sound that makes the song so special. And it's like nothing you've ever heard, and from beginning to end, this is obviously a coming out party for a new guitar god. Drummer Lead Pipe Lizzie, which may be the greatest stage name ever, falls somewhere between jazz and grindcore. Yes, jazz and grindcore, they're both going on in this album, trust me. And there are moments where the sheer speed she's playing with seems to drop the band into some sort of wormhole, and they just go into this other musical dimension. It's crazy, but again, it works. There's this true artistry in her approach that you can hear every time she hits the drums. And you can tell that she probably spent most of her youth studying every single rhythm section ever and bringing together the best sounds of everyone. Yet as stunning as their performances might be, the true genius of this band lives in their namesake, upright bassist and vocalist Faith Skies. As if playing upright bass wasn't enough, she actually switches between the traditional acoustic style and electric all across the album, giving these songs even more range and depth and a really cool sound. It's those dusty, musky tones she creates that transport you to a place in your soul that you rarely visit. And they sound just as good in the euphoric moments as they do in those somber, melancholy tones that they do so well. But beyond her work on Upright, it's her voice that eclipses almost every other sonic element already at play. And honestly, I don't think there's anywhere in the vocal range she can't hit, and it's the way that she jumps and slides all around that makes so many of these songs so perfectly and wonderfully dramatic. At the same time, when she gets angry, look out. It's the level of ferocity she's able to bring to the title track without sacrificing any of the musicality that vaults her instantly to the top of the greatest vocalist alive today. And this is the sort of performance you're going to find yourself playing again and again and again out of nothing but sheer disbelief. Lyrically, everything is also up to par, and it's very clear that all three of these ladies had their fair share of difficult life experiences and felt that music was the perfect way to exercise all of those demons, and it all comes to the benefit of you as a listener. I will say there's a few moments here and there where I feel they're beating you over the head a little bit too hard with their message. And lyrics like you find on Asbestos Breath could be a bit more subtle without losing any of the impact. But for a bunch of fresh faces working on their debut record, I think you can forgive them for this, along with the fact that everything around these moments is so damn good. Honestly, it's musical discoveries like this album that keep me listening to everything new that's coming out. I got so much excitement and happiness from this, and I never thought I'd be able to have first-hand experience with something this groundbreaking and this visceral in my lifetime. And I can't get around the fact that there's just no press for the music that you find here. And on the buy it or borrow it, Polar Foils is a 110% buy it for anyone who likes any type of music. If you're a person who appreciates great sound and originality, you're absolutely gonna fall in love with this record. From end to end, this is an extraordinary musical achievement and absolutely a top contender for album of the year. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you dug it. If you did, go ahead and click subscribe and then hop down in the comments and let me know how much you're in love with this record. If you've heard it, I guarantee you are. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook right here, and I'll see you guys again next time. I'm